<laughs> Welcome back to the show, everyone. Now, Jeff, uh, you know what this is, don't yes, you? Yes, of course. What happens if I press this once? Press it once. And we are German. We speak German. That's correct. <laughs> what happens if I press it twice? We are still speaking German. No German. <laughs> Three times? We are Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> Four times? That is Italian Bill Clinton. <laughs> What's the common go? <laughs> Good. I'm not going to do five times. No, don't do five. Uh, listen, I'm very, uh, I'm a bit nervous tonight. Why is that? Well, Shailene Woodley is here. Oh, yeah. She's so lovely. Oh, mama. And I, I, she's lovely, and she's very young, lovely uh, movie star careful, actress. Careful, careful, No, I, I, I don't, I don't want to come across creepy. I just think she's lovely. She's lovely. Yeah, she's very nice. She's, she's, she's lovely. She's lovely. And I don't, I, I know when I, sometimes when I really like the guest, I come across as creepy. <laughs> Now, I don't know why anyone would think that you've gone... Well, sometimes, and that's very nice of you to say, yeah. Jeff, but sometimes people have said, you know something, Grandpa, you're a little bit creepy. I mean, I mean you, you've gone on about this now for two minutes. That's, I mean, that's fine. It's not creepy at all. You're still talking about it. So you're saying it is creepy. You're saying the opposite of what's true. I've already become creepy. But look, the thing is, I'm not, you know, I'm just saying she's just lovely. I just still need... going. You're still okay, going. Okay, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone would call me. Someone, someone would call you? Yeah. Oh, God. Hello, who is this? Yeah, it's uh, Al Patraz. Oh, stop. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Hey, Jeff, you know it's National Talk Show Host Day. Yeah, it is. I yeah. wonder if any uh, talk show hosts from National Talk Shows would call in. That would be great if they did. Uh -huh. Hello? Hey, it's uh, Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Jay, 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 Jay. <laughs> it's current talk show host. Yeah, no, no, no. Current. <laughs> okay, very funny, very good, very funny. Jay, it's uh, current. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tim Murray. It's time for a family feud. Hello? Oh, oh, hey, Craig, it's Jimmy Fallon. How you oh, doing? Hey. You're so cool. Wow, awesome. Oh, 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 oh. This is great. I love your show. My show's great. And your show's great. Everybody's happy. There's no problems at all. I'm just the happiest guy in the world. Look at me. Ha! I'm making money. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Do you know what would be great? What, what would be great? If David Letterman called. Oh, yeah? Yeah, right. Really, man? <laughs> really, man? You sure? You sure, sure, man? Sure. Okay. Hey, we're out of here in December, though. Okay, oh, bye. I'll do this. Shit. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Dave. It's Dave. It's Dave Letterman. How you doing? It's me, Dave. You sound different than you do on TV, oh, Dave. Yeah, a bit of a head cold. How you, you're doing a great job over there. I just wanted to let you know that. Dave Letterman here on the phone. <laughs> Yep. You sound a little bit like uh, Wilford Brimley. No, no, this is... Are you Wilford Brimley? Yeah, I got diabetes. <laughs> what's going on down there? What? What's going on down I don't know. My, my chair got caught. I, I think what's happening is because I'm excited about Shailene being on the show, I've started to get extra cool <laughs> by catching my chair on the desk and then my pants got stuck on a nail underneath. Uh-huh. What time is it, Jeff? <laughs> It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who once danced under the name Wet Willie. Uh, let's do a quick jingle. We don't have yeah, time for a proper one. All right. Emails and tweets. All right. Uh, we have 16 seconds left to do these. Oh, boy. All right, let's go. This is from Carolina Tony in South Carolina. Craig. Uh, uh, this is from uh, De Delany in Muncie, Indiana. It says, Craig, uh, I like to ask the tough questions. Who's more obnoxious, the Kardashians or Bieber? Bieber, because he left the monkey in Germany. No disrespect to Germans. Uh, this is from Allison in Detroit, who says, Hi, Craig. My sister says hi, too. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey. 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 Hey, you. Hey. Hey, Miss Lee. <laughs> uh, we're wondering if you ever spent any time with twins in your past. Hmm. <clears throat> yes. <Yep. laughs> and you know what? <laughs> yeah. And you know what? That's true. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know what else? 
Mm-hmm. Thanks. All right, uh, this is from Cal in Fort Worth, Texas. I don't know if you can tell, but he's a crow. Uh, he says, Craig, do you think uh, there's any way you could have Shailene Woodley as a guest again before you leave the show? No. Uh, go to bed now. Go to bed, asshole. <laughs> See what I did. Yeah, you're kind of tricking him, right? Yeah, I'm tricking oh, him, yeah. What a bad, yeah. This is from Diane in Sacramento. Have you ever been there? A couple times, yeah. To what did you like about it? Uh, I like the middle part. It's kind of dry. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. Oh, no. All right, well, so, uh, that's it. What the hell is going on here? Oh, come on! <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Excuse me. Is that, is that tonight's show? Is that tonight's show or are we going to do this tomorrow? Oh, we're doing it tonight? We might do it tomorrow too, I don't know. Yeah, we could. Well, let's see what tomorrow brings. Right. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Extremely talented and beautiful young woman. Well, she's all right. I don't want to go over the top. Yeah, you don't want to. She's fine. Yeah, she's nice. She's, she's a nice, nice person. Oh, sure, she's sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> she's our, our new movie, uh, White Bird in a Blizzard, is on demand and in theaters now. Please welcome the lovely Shailene Woodley, everybody. <laughs> You do, you look like some sort of hunting 1920s <laughs> lesbian. Perfect! Yeah. That's actually exactly what I was going No, it looks for. great. It's an Avita Sackville West thing going on. It's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. It's also really comfortable. Well, that's important. It's so important. Yeah, it, it really is something to notice because so long you, you, know, you were dressed as you were heels. So Tell me. Yeah, I know. Right? You know all about it. I did. You know, I did a year in the West End uh, doing uh, the Rocky Horror Show. I wore heels every night, danced in them. So you know exactly what it feels like. Oh, yeah. It's not that fun. It's actually not that much fun. It's, no. it's fun for a, a year, and then not fun. <laughs> Maybe like an hour? Yeah, no, nah, it's not 30 minutes? Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't really like it. I thought I would like being in drag, but I didn't really. Mm. 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 Well, Maybe I should try it again sometime, just to I say. Should. What's going on with you? Is the movie any good? Uh, I actually, I love this movie. Oh, do you? I do. I That's good. It. I love it because it's so different. It's, it's one of my favorites, actually. What, of all time? No, uh, it's one of my favorite movies of all time, and I'm in it. Yeah. <laughs> What is one of your favorite movies of all time? Well, The Goonies. The Goonies? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You don't think so? Yeah, that's the one where they they find the thing? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's all right. Maybe I because I watched it at a time in my life when I was a child and I thought to myself, wow, that could be me one day. What, Goonie? Yeah, like I could I could find a pirate ship. Have you ever found a pirate ship? No, but when I saw the movie, I thought that there would be the possibility of that. 
So I think it I have some very bad news for you. <laughs> you don't think I'm ever going to find a pirate ship? I don't know, actually. You might. It depends. I might find, it, might, it might not be a real pirate ship. I think you might find a pirate ship. I think the thing is, see, I'm interested in your career. You interest me. Very few people uh, interest me anymore. I'm so jaded. But you do. <laughs> because you are clearly uh, going to be an enormous movie star. And it's written all over you. And I, I, I think that it's, what's interesting is that I don't think you do that forever. And that fascinates me. The last time you were here, I Act thought... Act forever? Yeah, I don't think you'll do it forever. But there's so many things to do. See, uh, this is crazy to me. I'm very excited for you. Thank you. I think that you <laughs> you might... You, you have a chance. Yeah, I mean, there's so, there's, so many, there's so many things out there. Right, so what will you do if you... Like, let's say you do acting another 15 years, right? And you really get into it. And then, by then, you're in your, what, mid-30s, uh, coming up on 40, and you think, I'm going to do something else. What are you going to do? Then I have no idea. Maybe, you know, maybe. Well, I feel like I want to do everything now. See, that's my problem. I just want to do it oh, all at I, once. Yeah, no, you can't do everything. So, I know time. you I can't. Know. Especially uh, 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 Guinness and LSD. <laughs> <laughs> Bad combination. <laughs> do not try that one at home. <laughs> CBS cares. Uh, no, don't, don't I'm ever so do that. I'm happy to be back. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Well, no, I'm, I, I like you. Seriously, I do. I don't mean in a creepy, lecherous way. I mean, you genuinely, you seem like an interesting individual mind. And uh, whilst I mean no detriment to a lot of other actresses that I talk to, that's quite unusual. I, maybe I feel, I feel really lucky because I, I think, honestly, and I think this is what it is, I think a lot of people get really successful sort of immediately in the right. industry. And I think that that's a lot to handle because when you're on a movie set it's fun and, and that's why you start acting and then all of the excess of it all like doing press for a film and stuff it's a lot of work and there's right. a lot of different opinions and, and things thrown at you so I feel like if you don't have a strong foundation or strong base to begin with maybe it's hard to what do you think do you know. think there is a pressure on a young woman to conform to a stereotype perhaps you know, like you must uh, weigh a certain thing, your oh, hair definitely. must be a certain I way. I don't think it's just in this industry, I think it's in, like in our society. Well, you know? that's like, true, yeah. Any, yeah. any preteen out there is looking at magazines with people who don't like... Excuse me just a second, the magazine is uh, an old-timey blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's printed on yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's, like, it's like, you know, people used to say, Hey, get me a magazine, <laughs> would you? Right, you right away, way, sir. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Sir, uh, this is Jerry. I was just waiting on the phone, sir. I'm sorry about that. Are you going to see me? Yeah, I'd love to, sir. Hey, how's it? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you, you, you're real pretty. You're real pretty. I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Quick. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I'm still here, sir. Yeah, I thought you were. <laughs> so, let's continue with our therapy. Oh, we did therapy last yeah. week. <gasps> You've got a pipe, too? <laughs> It went with the outfit. It does. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so. Talk to me. Well, I'm, are you the therapist or am I the therapist? We can take turns. Uh, okay. Let's begin. Okay. Uh, uh, you be the therapist first and I'll tell you. All right. I am sexually attracted to mice. To mice? When do you think that started? When I was a child. All right. Did your, did your mother or your father have any... They were mice, both of them. Both of them. Well, I was adopted. I was raised by mice. You were raised by mice, and so that's why you're sexually attracted to mice. Well, I sort of. Do you feel not, not my family? I'm not attracted to my family. <laughs> Who are mice? I'm not weird. Just third cousins and beyond. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Now I'm the therapist. All right. All right. What? All right. Well, I'll be the therapist. Now you tell me. Oh, what's going on in my life? Well, something. All right. What are you afraid of? Um. Ooh, that's a good one. Afraid. I, I get consistently more afraid of flying on airplanes. Ah, I may be able to help it, you there. I used to not be afraid, and now I am. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Correct. So, so what's what's? What are you afraid of when you get on the plane? I'm afraid the plane's going to crash. Hmm. It's not. Okay. <laughs> and if it does, then then it does. It's not going to crash. You statistically, you're safer in your uh, in an airplane than you are in your bed if you're in California. Really? That's a 
the great statistic? Well, because of the San Andreas Fault. You, it's more likely that you would be hurt in an earthquake than hurt in an airline accident. I don't, I think being hurt in an earthquake is different than dying in an airplane crash. <laughs> that's bad, Shaley. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, it's true, it all works out and then we die. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm glad we had this talk, though. Yeah. <laughs> Do you enjoy sports? I love sports. Do you really? I love sports. What kind of sports are you into? Swimming. Swimming? No! <laughs> People only watch swimming once every four years at the Olympics. That's it! <laughs> Nobody says, oh, well, you know, I'm going to stay and watch the swimming. Come on! <laughs> swimming? Like group sport, I suppose? No, no. I mean, do you do you actually go to swim meets and like, come on, Michael Phelps and other ocean. swimmers who I don't know of? Ocean swimming. Oh, you, oh, you personally swimming? Yeah. Well, that's different. Oh, do you, I enjoy watching sports? Yes. No. No, all right. So you go swimming you in the ocean? Do you enjoy watching sports? No. Uh, oh, sometimes. Like what sport? Mm, I don't really. It's the food I'm after. And the, it's, more, it's more the social environment, right? Not even that. No, I'm very sure. cranky loner, and now I'm a vegetarian. So what do you eat then at sports games? Vegetables. <laughs> Are you a vegetarian? I fancy you've probably been skirting around it, though. No, you know, I was for a while, but I, my body, my body feels, I feel like I need meat. Mm. Um, but, you know, actually, you know about the blood type thing? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I actually think that that's pretty cool, like, pretty right on. It feels right for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what you do? No, I just, I just found out that my blood type generally are the meat eaters. I'm an o mm, My blood type are generally Gryffindor. Ah. <laughs> Gryffindor. <laughs> Not Hufflepuff. No, no. Well, I'm sort of Hufflepuff, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I think you have a little Hufflepuff. A little Hufflepuff. There. I do. We have to take a commercial break. Okay. I think it's time for her to go home. What? Why? It's late. It's not even midnight. Cat. But I say go. And I say go to bed. The weirdest part was that she had on this nightgown that was practically see-through. It was almost like she was putting on a show. Could it be that's what she was doing? What? what? Putting on a show? Fuck no. <laughs> for me or for Phil? Easy. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Shailene Woodley, and we were just discussing her uh, embryonic fear of flying. It's starting to, it, it's coming in. It's coming in. And I'm telling you that you, uh, you know, you you can, you can. I had it, and I, what I did was I got a pilot's license. That, are you lying? No, not at all. Because that's actually, I've said that. I'm like, I need to learn how to fly just so that I, maybe that will take away the fear. Yeah, it's, you know what happened was you I. Keep yourself in thinking that you're in control, but you're really not. Uh, you are when you're flying the plane. Yeah, but if yeah. you're a passenger on a commercial flight and you're... Yeah, no, you're not in control. You're not then in you, control. But you no, desire control. It feels like you know, but yeah. Right, you desire control, so you start doing a little daft little OCD things in order... In the back of the plane. <laughs> right, so you're trying, you're like, I, if I wear these underpants, if I do this thing, if I walk this way, if I don't walk in these cracks, if I say this thing, if I do that, all these things trying to control something. Yeah. Which you can't control. But if you fly the plane, you're like, I'm going over here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, it was, actually, you know the actor Kurt Russell? Yeah. Who's a pilot, and he was on the show once, and I told him about my fear of flying, just like yours, and he said, you, you're not afraid of flying, you're a control freak. It's, yeah, total control freak. Right, well, I think you should learn to fly. I would love to learn to fly. Well, I can't teach you. Do you know how to sail? I can sail a little bit, yeah. I want to learn how to do that, too. That's much easier. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if it goes wrong, you're it's not that bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, if you go, oh, something bad might happen in half an hour. Yeah. Yeah, so you fix it, you know. You could actually have a sandwich and then take care of the emergency. Mm -hmm. Or you could swim there for a while. So right. But... Yeah. What, what kind of sailing would you like to... It's back to ships again. It's the Goonies for you. It's the ships, thing. It's the ships. That's what it is. It's you a life... That's at actually sea. really weird that you say ships. I always have reoccurring dreams about ships. Maybe I need to examine this ship situation. You need to be my therapist. Well, okay. I'll get the fight back in. What about, uh... What about sailors? Uh... You like them? Do I like sailors? Yeah. I don't know that many sailors. I'm what, sure I really? love sailors if I, if I... It depends on the individual sailor. Some sailors are fabulous and others are just plain crotchety. <laughs> Why? They're just not that pleasant, Shaylee. 
And that's all we should talk about that. the film. We should. Uh, we just said okay. that you liked it. What happens in it? Uh, so it's it's one of, it's awesome. I think it's so neat because it's a come. It's not a coming of age film, but it does follow a young woman as she becomes sort of an adult. And that's often, a coming of age film. Then. It is, but there's a lot of other components involved. But what I love about it is it doesn't just focus on so many. I guess coming of age films focus on certain aspects of it, like falling in love for the first time or getting your heart broken for the first time. First time you do acid. Yeah, of course, yeah, all of those things. Um, and this this movie, I feel like, touches on more than just those, the things that we see often in young adult films. Um, but it follows a young girl whose mother disappears, and she has to figure out who she is while dealing with the chaos of not having a mother. So it's a comedy, now. It's really funny. Yeah, really, yeah, funny. really now, funny. Now, does she disappears during a magician's trick? Like instead of well, the the, mag the magician puts um that cloth thing in front of her. The him. magic invisibility yeah, cloak. Cloak. Yes. Uh -huh. Pulls it up. She's still there. Puts it back. Pulls it up. She's still there. Pulls it back. And then she's gone. The then she's time. gone. Yeah. Have you ever been to see uh, any magicians in Las Vegas? No. Go. I should go. Go. I love magicians. Go. I'm like one of those people in the crowd who's like, <gasps> how did they do? That? Yeah. No. Go. <laughs> And I think, you know, it's a shame it's closed down. You would have loved the Liberace Museum as well in Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Have yeah. you been to the Magic Castle a lot here? I have been to the Magic Castle, it's yeah. Pretty been... magic. Yeah, it's magical. It's like Hogwarts, but, yeah. you know, but just off Hollywood Boulevard. Like bookshelves and stuff move. And yeah, the bookshelf, right? there's a piano that plays I itself. Been... Like, I'm doing hands, but there's no hands. It's just the piano. Just reacting to the Yeah, yeah, and you there. can say things to it, and it'll play what you want. Well, yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't know how that's done. They must have a guy inside that piano. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking a little person with a smaller piano. <laughs> and they're just connected. <laughs> it's like, like they're inside there, and the piano's there, and they say, what did you say? <laughs> you must remember this. Yeah, yeah, no, they do. Can you play the piano? No, I wish I could. Well, you better get on with it then. I know. Well, the thing with piano is I feel like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people, parents put their kids in piano lessons when they're young and the kids end up, I, that's what happened to me. I was in piano lessons for like two years, hated it when I was like five. Right. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> well, that's terribly sad. It's not sad, it just is. They should have taken you to the Liberace Museum before it closed <laughs> down. Then you would have realized all the possibilities of a life of piano playing could bring. <laughs> Holy crackers, it was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. I do I do um, lovingly envy pianists though because they the way that their communication with the I envy all artists who lose themselves in the art. Don't you? Like anyone who completely uh, loses themselves completely. Yes, yeah, the complete lack of ego that a true artist exhibits whilst doing the art. Like, you, oh yeah, yeah. For a movie I thought you meant in general always. Like they just lose No, themselves. not all art. <laughs> oh, they lose themselves? Like where am I? I was I am just playing the piano and now I'm inside a piano? No, I mean the, who, the, the loss of any ego yeah. in someone who's who's functioning within their chosen art. Mm -hmm. Like if you see a painter work or even a, a great actor at work, you see so like look at uh, Meryl Streep, arguably the greatest uh, female actor of her generation mm -hmm. uh, maybe of, of our time. Someone who seems to have when the cameras are turning, uh, a lack of vanity. Yeah. Something that you wouldn't think uh, an actor, no disrespect, would have. Mm -hmm. A lack of vanity. It's just like, I don't see her getting Botoxed and, and pulled and teased and, and she's just like... Yeah, she's a woman. Like she... Right. Yeah. Right. She, she passes through her life. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I would like for you. And I, I get... I would like that for me. Yeah. I, see, I think you've got all that. There's something... You have all of that stuff. But you must be careful because this town is so full of weasels and, and awful satanic manipulators. I don't live you, here. You know. <laughs> That's why I don't live here. Oh, where'd you live? Oh, don't say, don't say the street. Huh? Don't say the street. People are listening. <laughs> um, I, I don't really live anywhere. Na give give a, 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 a general geographic area. Uh, Western United States? The United States? Do you walk the earth from town to town <laughs> like, solving crimes? I just run everywhere. You run? Do you run? I do like running. Yeah, yeah I run too. Do you run? Mm -hmm. You sort of just get in the flow and you're like, okay. I used to run even when I was drunk. 
even when you were drunk, you would Even run. when I was drinking, I, was, I, I used to run. I was like, in fact, I used to run a lot. It's probably colorful. You're probably Yeah, it's just like, oh, i got to get out of here. Um, <laughs> you weren't running for pleasure back then, though. I don't even think I run for pleasure now. I think it's more a search for grace. You run to search for grace? I think I run for the pain. The physical pain? Yeah, sure. The, the emotional pain. Yeah, the 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 uh, yeah the feeling of 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 uh, of exhaustion. Mm. You know what I mean? You do feel accomplished when you. Yeah, yeah, that feeling of oh, I'm completely exhausted. Yeah. So now I can't panic. What do you do when you feel completely exhausted? Well, when I feel completely exhausted, I lie down. What do you do? I probably lie down, but like after a run, is that what you do? You run and then you feel. I run. Like I lie down. I get up. You're never going to keep me down. I get up. <laughs> well, Shailene, we're out of time. All right, man. All right, then. So let's smoke our pipes as they play the music of Enya. Enya. We need you to go and find smog, Baggins. <laughs> 